Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena we're going to play Golgari Snow Control powered by some synergies with a brand new card, Shigeki the Jukai Visionary. Shigeki! Here we go. One in a green for a 1-3 legendary enchantment creature. Snake Druid rare. One in a green. Return to owner's hand. Reveal top four of your library. Put a land among them onto the battlefield. Tap with the rest into your graveyard channel. Return X target non-legendary cards from your graveyard to your hand. So what's up with this card? We played it in the Sagas deck. So if you didn't watch the video with the awesome title, Not a Meme, then you should probably go back and check it out because you found that when we got Colossal Sky Turtle and Shigeki together, you just created a loop where you kept getting back Shigeki and getting more and more value. Well, that's available here in the form of Balaged Recovery, kind of with Gloom Shrieker. It's like one shot to get back a Shigeki, but the other thing that you can just do that you don't always need like an endless loop with is you can use Shigeki to just keep channeling other Shigekis that you may have milled or that may have died along the way. So every time you go through the Shigeki thing, you just get more and more value. And then we've got a bunch of cards that if we just keep getting back and spamming, the opponent's going to struggle to beat, at least if they're an aggro deck. Cards like Mortality Spear, cards like Soul Transfer, we just, just constantly remove and exile all of their favorite toys. Blood on the Snow, and Planeswalkers, we just keep playing Planeswalkers and Isika's Chariot to overwhelm them. So yeah, it plays out like a traditional Blood on the Snow deck at first, where you're using Shambling Gas to Eye Twitch, Deadly Dispute, Prosperous Innkeeper, all these things into Blood on the Snow, and that's what should initially terrify the opponents of what we are capable of. But if they try to play a long game and grind us out, they're going to get the Shigeki treatment where we just keep getting back our powerful cards over and over and over. The Wish Board has more containment breaches to address the amount of enchantment-based decks and wedding announcements in the meta. Just way more containment breaches to handle way more artifacts and enchantments and a little less of the other cards because, honestly, we can recycle them over and over with Shigeki. So as long as it's not legendary, we can keep getting it back. So the Planeswalkers are a no-go, the Chariots a no-go. I said getting those back was a good thing before. Obviously, I'm stupid. Just pretend I didn't say it. We'll just keep getting back our removal spells and blood on the snow and absolutely destroy the opponent that way. It's going to be fine. Deadly Dispute, if we draw a bunch of this card, I'm sure we'll be pretty well off as we have a ton of cheap creatures to sacrifice to it, and it makes casting all of our expensive spells rather easy. So, I've introduced the deck, I've introduced the sideboard, I've introduced the general strategy. Play your stuff, grind, get to where we can channel this for a lot, channel it for a lot, win game. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Game one, never drew land three. Opponent curved out with werewolves. All right, let's try game two. Try to shake it off. Tap land makes sad, but it is what it is. To the battlefield, help me ramp. Another snow covered forest. Matchmaker be matchmaking. Another black green snow covered deck. Sure, what were the chances of that? All right, at least we get to ramp a little bit here. Okay, that flies. Not good. Hey, we hit a land. My complaint equity goes down. We got the Balaged recovery in the graveyard, so we can start getting that back. I play a blocker for your Nighthawk Scavenger. Rolf. Yeah, I'm sure that it's just, you know, another green-black snow deck just waiting to battle us. I'm, sh I'm sure that the matchmaker is totally fine. Alright. We can sweep here, but I think we want to hold. This isn't... It might exile the Shambling Ghast. I don't think I care that much. Let's, let's chill. I can take one bump here. One bump from the scavenger. P 
opponent checking the casting costs, choosing to keep Sirolf. Here comes Enrica. Interesting. Let's see what Enrica wants to trigger. Draw a card, lose a life. Green-black mid-range from the opponent. Very classic. We don't want to activate this until after combat in case we'd hit things that would make the scavenger bigger. So we'll take this block. And then activate. Yay land. The channel is definitely starting to look good. Do we mill anything cool? Not super cool. We could play Ren and try to hold out for one more turn. Is that crazy? If the opponent... If we make a token, the opponent can exile it, right? That's not good. Yeah, we do this now. Now Shigeki can get back the blood on the snow, which can get back the Planeswalkers, which completes an awesome cycle. As we drown the opponent in value. It's so fun. Okay, two Vengeful Reapers. I mean, sometimes you have cards that are your favorites. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Mascots. Innkeeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. We can get all this back with Shigeki later, so we may as well throw all this stuff onto the battlefield and make the opponent figure out how to deal with it. They do run the snow-covered lands as well, so... <laughs> and they have Rabid Bite Death Touch combo. Uh, but they probably also have a Blood on the Snow or two. They might also have Blizzard Brawl because apparently they are a deck that fights and gets stuff out of the graveyard. Yeah, we're gonna grind. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. Get him. It's a very, very big tree folk. It's a roll. Yep, now they've built out their board, committed a little bit. You want some? You do. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Death touch, baby. It's a skill. Okay, got a layer. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Count this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, ten, and then eleven, twelve. So we have an even number. So we can play this tap layer of the Hydra. So Shigeki can go for five cards. Let's see what the opponent wants to do. Do they use Rolf? Oh, yeah, they do. Okay, I don't get a chance to use my treasures. That's kind of a, that's a bummer. They're starting to feel in charge. They're pretty good at grinding themselves. They are- it is a black-green mirror. But I have super evil plan, you see. If you attack like that, Ren could live. Okay. You're gonna let-, let you're gonna let Ren be? Cool. They do have some snowy stuff. All right. We lost a little bit of equity. We don't get five cards, but four is pretty good. We get the recovery so it can get back Shigeki. 
We get the Blood in the Snow. We get the Mascot Exhibition. What else? Guess Eye Twitch is fine. Whee! I guess we get Lolf this way. Alright, destroy all creatures. Here's Lolf. Do I make a giant monster and threaten them? Yeah, we'll wait. We'll do it again. We'll do that soon. I already have a little bit of a board presence created here with my Spideys. So we do this. We get Shigeki. I think we do this and grab another Ren, but I'm not positive about that. Maybe grab a meat hook? Ooh, I like that. Or chariot? Chariot. Chariot strong. That was a good series. Blood Reckoning. See, the opponent has kind of what we're doing. We just do it on a whole other level, where we get back a lot of powerful spells as well. So these all have Menace. The Necromancer, gonna get owned here. Deadly Dispute. I mean, there's not a lot of reasons not to play everything out, except I do just want to leave up the Deadly Dispute. But yeah, we'll just make this epic board and see if the opponent's ready to blow it up. Infernal Grasp. Sure. And you take two. And I, the, generous one. the opponent, like, could hit the Necromancer on this Gloom Shrieker, potentially, but he exiles anyway. They got my innkeeper. They got Finn, because they death touch. Yo. They grindy death touch. I do respect it in a sort of in a way, you know? I'll just hold. 24 cards in the deck. Nice. Transfer. Soul transfer. Pretty good here. And I guess it can break open this game a bit. So, let's see. We need three mana to cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll go four. Four beautiful cards. One. Two. Three. Four. Now I really do want to get a hook back. Which I can use a Balagad Recovery to do if I want to, but... Alright, so... A little bit of both. Get back... Shigeki! <laughs> Feels good. Power up. I guess they could hit it with the Draugr, so why, why do it? So we should just keep things in a token frame of mind. Alright, so no clean blocks there, no clean blocks here. Uh, one clean block on the spiders, but we'll take it, I think. And if they're gonna do that, maybe we should just attack with more stuff. Eh, it's fine. This is fine. Just keep throwing stuff at them till they die. Maybe I shouldn't even play the eye twitch while the necromancer's on the field, since when it dies it would exile. No blocks. Alright, cool. Feels silly, but I'm just gonna put this Deadly Dispute away. We've got enough cards and value for a million years. 
Our opponent has a hook. All right. Big game. Well, now I'm definitely going to hook. My will cannot be denied. Could have powered up a chariot, and then it would be a 2 2, and it could have blocked this necromancer. But this is fine. Like, we're not even going to miss this. Mm -hmm. Very tempting to ult this Lolth. The, the ult. The Lolthamit is really bad, but I can't resist. The hook brings you back. Let's go like this. One each. We have the wolf limit, so just hitting them for one actually hits them for eight and is ideal. Again. Tokens are immune to the Necromancer. We'll just keep spamming them. Blood packed. Yes. And another Nighthawk Scavenger. Shigeki! Ah, we've already got one. We just want Soul Transfer, Balaged, Mascots. Get back. Lol, because why not? We did. Mm, no, they did. My bad. <laughs> Game two. Three, actually. Yeah, I already forgot about the gamer. We never drew our third land. It's gone. Banished from my mind. This will work. Turn one. Twitch. Turn two, Shigeki. Turn three, Chariot. Ugh. Worst type of gamer spotted. It's mono white. We'll just hold. They might have a way to 3-3 three, three this. They usually do, right? Okay. Well. Yay. Alright, what do we need? Like a hook? We do need a hook. That's a pretty good draw. You can come down and chill with the squad. Alright, maybe we're not playing chariot on time. Or ahead of schedule. Yep. Bring it out. Bring it out. They don't want to attack into the gas while they're aspiring to 1 1. They don't care. They are mono white. Mono white does not care. Okay. Um, there. Actually, we'll go there. Eh? What you got? So we bounce you. We hit a land. Yay, we did. Scared me. No hooks there, though. Kill those. Minus one, minus one counter there. Get what? What do you get? Ah, uh, let's get some pesky besties. We can cast those and cast Shigeki. If the opponent removes the Shigeki, it's pretty sad. On the other hand, we can cast the Chariot or the Ren. Um, Ren make a 5-5. The opponent might throw everything at it. If they have a Brutal Cathar, it's brutal. Um, the opponent can also spend two, three mana to remove counters from the Initiate to kill the Chariot. But if they do that, they're not dealing with the board. So let's go with the Chariot. I think that lines up the best against Brutal Cathar and just gaining tempo on them. And of course, if they don't deal with it, or they tap their man to do something else, Ren and Chariot happens to them, which is awesome. Clarion, on, 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 on. 
Okay, now we have to top deck a land for that to work. Let's see what happens. Please don't forget about the chariot being a vehicle. The integrity of my game. All right. Hosed by Thalia. Hosed by Thalia, huh? That's not cool. I'm not sure. I, I'm thinking I power up Chariot and I deadly dispute one of the cats. And I try to find... I try to keep getting ahead on this board. I could also play my Shigeki and hold up my deadly dispute. We're about to get attacked for a lot. Definitely want to trade with something on their board. If we can reduce their board, we'll be pretty happy. Yep, that's the right way to do it. Okay, so I think we take down the Initiate. Because it can keep growing on its own. Play this. God. That Thalia, man. And then we missed a land. Okay, but they don't have double spell for Clarion, and they drew a fifth land, so it could be worse. Anybody else want Tango? You too? Okay. Trade? Really looking for some hooks and blood on the snow. Deck not delivering yet. But we found another chariot. And we can activate a Shigeki. Play these snow lands out before Redain shows up. And maybe next turn, Ren and Chariot. Okay. Second Clarion Spirit. Just the 1-1 one, one coming in. That's awesome. I think it's worth it to try to hit a land. And we do. Any sweepers down there yet? Soul transfer. No sweepers. They prepare for war. Chariot make big tree folk. Yay! Down with mono white. Naughty two. Did I already slay Naughty one, or was was there something wrong? Wow! Do you like shambling ghasts? Let's see if they're any good. Player hit class. Come and get it. Okay. Okay. That card could have been a real headache later in the game, so happy to see it now. Can't have them tearing up my graveyard. Well, you want me to have some treasure? I think I'd actually take one. I don't have anything to really cast off the ramp. Okay. Well, if they don't want that, if I attack them, let's see what they do. They might take it. Weird. Okay. Okay. I'll make a treasure. This is fine. Opponent did nothing, but that probably means their hand is powerful. They go to leveling the class. We have a lot of ways to kill enchantments. Maybe we'll draw one. I think patience is the best. We wait. We just wait. The long game should be in our favor. Shigeki is a heck of a card. 
There, here comes the card advantage. The enchantment energy. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Alright. Is this fine? I'm telling you, this is fine. What's the noted life total? 22. Okay, we got this. We got this. But where is the eye twitch? Okay. They, they fed me a Ren just in time to tempt me. I could attack here and keep the opponent from drawing a card next turn, but we're not really making board progress, so I'm just gonna Ren. Besides, maybe we fill this graveyard and we hit a Shigeki and we get it back with recovery. But the opponent's gonna draw two cards a turn for the foreseeable future, so we have to find a way to overpower that. Are they gonna level another cleric class? They're gonna play Enduring Angel! What the hell is this? Flying Double Strike, you have Hexproof. If your life total would be reduced to zero or less, well, that's not happening anytime soon. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this angel way before that happens. Okay. Ren in the graveyard. Would they try to block this chariot, this 6-6? Six, six? Trade it for an angel? Maybe they would. I can meat hook this up. Okay. I think that's pretty smart. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else with my mana, so I should have just done it for four, but I guess I hit my opponent a little harder this way. And they don't get to draw. Opponent's like, how did this happen? Alright, if they go to the next chapter on Cleric class and get back the Dawnbringer Cleric... That's very bad, but if they don't, if they wait... Oh, they have another. Of course they do. My hook! Not my hook. Curse you, cleric class. <laughs> okay, we can get it back now. It's fine. We can get it back right now if we want. <laughs> it's all fine. Take it. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna make another tree folk. We're gonna play the chariot. We're gonna play the gloom shrieker. And now I have quite the board that they have to answer. And I'm gonna get back Ren, which can make more giant tree folk. We're just gonna try to keep their life total going down, and they're gonna keep trying to set up to pop these cleric classes. And I'm gonna try to find an eye twitch so I can start getting ways to kill things. And they're gonna play Vanquish the Horde, because why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they play Vanquish the Horde? Freaking commander players on Arena, man. Getcha. I guess we still have Ren and Chariot, so it's fine. See, they had a plan. This big double strikies. Well, launching my chariot into that seems bad. We have an artifact. We don't have an enchantment. Oh, wait. I was thinking, like, I'll get back soul transfer, but it's not in the graveyard. That was last game. Do we just blood on the snow them? We can. We can even get back Ren. I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> This is great. We powerful. Entire forest is in awe. And if we need that blood on the snow again, we just get it back. No risk. Noted life total, 18. Okay, I guess they get the pleasure of an extra card here. 
All right, and the angel comes back, and we do it again. Do they have Vanquish the Horde this time, though? Potion of Healing. Draw a card, sacrifice it to gain three life. 7-7 seven, seven, Double Strike on the field. They're trying to kill me. They're coming for me. They're not going to block, are they? I don't think they are. But if I hook... Let's see if we hit a soul transfer here. It would be awesome. We hit Shigeki. And we hit Boseju, so we can blow up the Splendor now. Or one of these classes, but they're both level... They're both level 3. Alright, do they block? It's a lot of damage. No block. So we do this. Had a feeling they weren't gonna. And now their angel is dead again. <laughs> grindy, grindy, grindy. I can do this all day. All day. <laughs> Apparently so can my opponent. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Sunset, no regret. Good God. <laughs> There's the soul transfer. Nice. Enchantment, artifact, beautiful. They prepare for war. We continue. Hello. <laughs> Right? What, you mad? Oh, was I not supposed to have card advantage in my deck? Was that your thing that you figured out that no one else is allowed to do? Am I not supposed to be able to totally just destroy you? Alright. We'll make- well, we'll get a little extra. No more of that. <laughs> oh, just pick your land. Oh, they're salty. Look how salty they are! But I played my angel three times. Well, how could I not win? I vanquished the horde. I Dawnbringer cleric for value. We have enough nine nines. They might they might be trying to lure us into another vanquish the horde. Potion of healing. Life gain gamers. They're they're everywhere. They're infesting they're infesting. The standard events. Somebody must do right. Going for the even money. Can we have the even money today? Will it happen? Tim. Sure. Let's go, I Twitch. Let's ride. I'm trying these snow-covered lands, which I think you had to craft. Maybe you still can, but maybe people won't recognize I'm playing snow lands because they're used to the other ones, like this. So they'll see this and it won't register that they get blood on the snowed. Long shot, but I do stupid things. So we could Deadly Dispute and just be moving up the curve super fast. I kind of want to I want to play this now when the opponent can't necessarily deal with it and get an activation out of it. It might be hard for them to kill it. They might not have the turn 2 removal spell. Right? Right? 
Black White. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Well, if they did let Shigeki live, the joke's on them. They want to grind? We're gonna grind. I guess we should focus on snow-covered lands. And we hold, and we ramp. Yeah, they've got some annoying little things, don't they? But they're doing nothing with them. Hit. Good stuff in the graveyard for sure. All right, how greedy are we? Do we keep do we keep trying to shigekify our way up the ladder? Eventually they'll have a way to kill it. Yeah, we 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 did enough. We did enough. Order. What am I doing? I could have had a free life point there. Too busy thinking about all the sweet planeswalkers I'm gonna get back. Opponent does nothing. I guess the eye twitch? Wanna make sure we keep hitting land for that sweet Shigeki value. Also, this is definitely a matchup where containment breach is really good. Yeah, let's be ready. Let's be ready for their wedding announcements. Okay, we hit no land. Sad. Okay, good. I'm gonna slap down a chariot. Play other Shigeki. Although, those can be so powerful. We can also wait till end step and possibly channel Shigeki right here, giving up our treasures. Here's Vanishing Verse. Here's not Vanishing Verse. Opponent maybe has the Wanderer, but they didn't play it if they do. They're being they're being careful. They're being so cautious. Hook for 3. That's your own board you're destroying. Triggers anyone? Create a treasure. All right, do we Shigeki here? We can go get a planeswalker. Yeah, I guess we can rent and chariot our opponent. Seems really good. Oh yeah, legendary. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. First enchantment destroyed. I'm going to make a treasure. I think the opponent's going to blow up this board. Man is helpful. If they don't blow it up, I might. Alright, so, non-legendary. Why do I forget that so easily? But getting the deadly disputes and the eye twitches and the containment breach now is a good step to staying in this. You sacked your treasure. I mean, mascot exhibition, maybe? Okay. That's very rude. And I don't like it. So, that's something I guess we have to get used to. I'm just going to put this out on a pay zero basis. No. They've got an ex exhibition and another eye twitch. We might end up using it. Here's Wolf. Ah, you reek with a gift. 
in exchange for having no graveyard blows. Hmm. They'll probably just wolf up again. But yeah, that farewell was nasty. I wonder how many they play. They're playing go over the top black white. It's not the typical black white. It's trying to adjust to the meta game of farewell with farewell. That's going to make everything a lot trickier for us. Our graveyard is no longer a pile of endless value. How are we going to get rid of you? I guess we got to go get fumes with an eye twitch. Aren't I generous? Okay, well, we, by playing the hook, we got them to play the mascots. Running seven down there, another Shigeki, and a deadly dispute. Not really it, but I guess we can go get something with our Gloom Shrieker. I guess we get another hook with our Gloom Shrieker. Keep trying to fill this graveyard. I guess I should have got fumes. I thought I would have learned another lesson by now. We're almost halfway through the deck, but it is what it is. We'll figure it out. What an ass. Okay. They have chump blocks for days, so minusing this, it, we just lose it. So we'll plus and try to rebuild our graveyard and make it interesting. We get a chariot, okay. Play you, play you. Get back our chariot. I would have thought that grinding against this would be a favorable matchup, but this player is like, this is not the version that we expected. They might even be running four farewells. They're just trying to win mirrors, but it turns out to be really good against us. Long way to go, though. I'll tell you a secret. Mm, maybe not as long as I'd like. Our resolve burns within us. Pesty besties. Oh, man. I could have a deadly dispute. Let's see what we hit here. Soul transfer. Awesome. Actually, those three cards are exactly what we want. Or at least those two. We have an enchantment. We could have an artifact. Can't do both because we don't have the artifact, but let's get this Lolth off the field for good. Hope they don't have another way to hit the graveyard next turn. If we get a chance to Balagid recovery back a Shigeki, we're in okay. Yeah, they had a wander. No surprise. They've got a good board. We have to draw blood on the snow, which we haven't done yet, right? 25 cards left in the deck, zero blood in the snow. That's pretty painful. So now their priorities are probably to kill the Wren and pressure my life total. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they attack Ren with enough that it's going to die no matter what. None of these have first strike. 
They didn't plus their Emperor. If they had, we could block with a Shambling Gas, kill one of the spiders, would be kind of cool, but not an option here. So we'll block the 2-2, two -two, we'll block the 1-1, one -one, and we'll kill a spider, and we'll lose the Ren. That pairs down their board a lot. They know about the recovery. Let's see if they can get rid of the graveyard. They make a 2 2. They play Lolf. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> They're going to keep us on the back foot. That's a mortality spear. That's really helpful. Do we have a way to gain life? I don't see it. Do we have a way to break through? Not really. Chariot. Really need a blood on the snow soon. We have 26 life, but that's not going to hold very long. I think we get rid of the Lulth. Get rid of the card advantage. Oh, you'll fall into my web again. Recover, Shigeki. Hope that they can't exile the frickin' graveyard. They're not using the field on the hive. They're waiting for activation. I guess they don't have much to do with their mana. That's good for us. If they were under mana pressure, they wouldn't wait on that field. I mean, anything more than two farewells, in my opinion, is super greedy. And they've already cast two, so hopefully we're done with that. I mean, that's there's a card that's really good that they haven't drawn yet, so that's scary. No good block here, and they're holding back the spiders, so that's kind of nice. So we want one, two, three. We'd take four if we had to. I'm trying to decide what we would also play this turn. If we did three, that's eight. One, two... We have 11. Could have 12. Let's do it like this. One, two, three, four. That's 10. Okay. Powerful. Opponent examining the merchandise. We play our Shambling Ghast. And we tap, play this Tapped Chasm. And we chill. Grind them to, to dust. The power of the circle that if we get to keep doing it, it completely stays off the battlefield, so the right of oblivion can't stop us from continuing to just pile up value. Okay, their last card is a Vanishing Verse that they're going to use on Shambling Ghast. Wow. And now they're top-decking. And now they're aggressive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we just take it. Hang on to our cats. Okay, they're going to try to be really aggressive. We did it! It took a while, but we did it. And what do we have down there? We have Ren. If they kill the Ren, that's fine. I want them to have to figure out how to deal with the 12-12. We can exile their Wanderer or Mortality Spirit. Let's go with the Spear. Let's go with the Recovery. Get back Shigeki. See what our opponent does. They can Hive down the Ren 
And I'm okay with that. I don't really want to mill myself too much. Although, I guess we could get some good cards from a Ren Mill. But did they draw away? They have to sacrifice a non-land permanent, so they can't sack Hive, even when it's a creature. And now they get to take out the Balagad Recovery. That's really good for them. So they stop the cycle. Ooh! Okay. Interesting. I think they missed the recovery, but we'll see. Maybe they have a master plan. Deadly Dispute their Hive. Okay, can they find something for this 13-13 creature? Never didn't have it. Okay, but their mana is low. You see that? If they had blown up this Hive a long time ago, I would not have this option. And it's going to help a lot here. Also, we can get the Hive back with Shigeki. I believe. Non-legendary, non-land? Non-legendary, sweet. Let's wait. I think they're going to field the hive. They have to field it now, or I'm going to get the right of oblivion. One, two, so one, two, three. Four. If I'm patient, it works. All right, one, two, three, four. We have to do it now because if we proceed in combat, it clears our mana pool. So much value. But they're up to three cards now. There's a wedding announcement. I want to make sure I get Shigeki back ASAP. Go after their Rite of Oblivion again? I think so. Got something for the hive? Not this time. Man, they... Okay. <laughs> Max value deadly dispute, sure. I would have just done it sooner to try to hit an answer for the Hive before it got rid of the Right of Oblivion rather than basically gaining one life by blocking the ghast. But it does depend what's in the deck. Maybe they know the deck better than me. Alright, this will let us gain a life, which will let us play Cheaper Mortality Spear. All right, no farewell. Do not farewell me. Okay, they are digging. How many farewells do they run? Are they a maniac who runs three or four? Or are they running the already greedy two that I think would be acceptable? That's a hive. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Unacceptable. All right. They play out their nerds. 
So we've lost the loop to get back spells. If we use a soul transfer here, it's pretty bad. But uh, if we attack with the hive here, we could lose. We could lose it. But if we lose it, we get it back with Shigeki. So that's not the worst. Oops. Not my finest moment right there. I meant to power up Hive. I'm really going to lose after all that. Three farewells. Like if they... Ah, man. I don't want to talk too much about it. This person is making me mad with their greed level. Maybe it's right on some level, but it's really making me mad. Alright, so next turn we take seven. Pretty close to dead. Wonder why they held the shambling gas back if it can't block this. But we really need to get this layer of the Hydra through for lethal, and they know about the soul transfer. They attack for six. I guess I should do this. And should I play you? I will. Blood in the Snow can bring it back anyway. Of course, if they kill it, they could also hive it, but let's see what happens. Very close. Very, very close. They just go for an attack with double hive, sit on a shambling gas. There's a few things we could draw that would let us win the game. They're going for it. Man, that, that attack I missed with my hive is hanging large right now. That turn I did just nothing for no reason. You gotta understand, recording three videos a day is really wearing me down. You gotta, you gotta give me a little break. Our own shambling ghast. Six mana, blood on the snow. Kill both creatures. Then what do we have left over? One. Two mana to activate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. So we can play through one removal spell by just playing this and saying go. And then we have to... We do have Shigeki channel options to try to mill into something good. 15 out of 16 land. I need one Field of Ruin in this deck. I don't know if it would matter too much with the Farewells, but in general, the idea that you can even keep getting it back is... A Field of Ruin might be really important. I don't have very much instant speed removal, that's for sure. Are we are we saying go? Huh. Sus? Fifteen cards. Treasure acquired. Farewell again? You've got to be kidding me. All four copies? I mean, why stop, right? You're post-combat now. What are you doing? I guess you're going to block a hive with... A lair with a hive. <laughs> All four copies. Not a single one in the bottom 24 of their deck. All right. We go green, we mill. This will give us a chance to channel whatever we hit. We, there's an eye twitch and a blood on the snow. Give it to me, baby. Just a quick little draw three, no big deal. Oh, they didn't exile graveyards. So Shigeki's still there. I can get it back with Blood on the Snow. Interesting. Interesting. Blood on the Snow is late. Now they're all in my hand at a time when they're not very useful. They don't have enough to activate two hives. They could activate one. We could force them to block. But I think we might be just better off getting back Shigeki here.
Playing blood on the snow. That's two blockers. Hive is three, or layer is three. Let's see how much mana that leaves us, really. Good amount of mana left over. We can attack for nine. Let's not. Let's send the hive instead. All four farewells. Are we going to beat that? We're good for one removal spell. We're not good against a board wipe if they can board wipe and have the mana to activate the hives. Not to mention they have to worry about the lair coming back at them. They poke in the graveyard. They see a blood on the snow. They look at the board. They play Lolf. children drench their hands in the blood of my enemies. And I, the we have 18 Jews. mana. We have 18 mana. If we blow up the board and attack with a lair, they have to block. How much does that cost? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The problem with that? We can't blow up planeswalkers and creatures. Blow them up. What do we get? You come back. At this point, we need our learn board. Our learn board is important. Aren't I generous? I will get what I want. All right, hive mana. The opponent can only block one thing. If we power up hive, it doesn't kill though. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. We can attack with layer for five. Again, we have to survive two hives, though. All right. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we still have enough to hive. So let's go right to the top. Although pest summoning, there's a lot of argument for pest summoning here. There really is. That life gain could be crucial. Yeah, top rope. Let's go. Don't be a coward. Ain't hey, menace cool. What a game. What a silly game. But we're not dead. Not yet. Nine cards in deck. Opponent has 23. We've done some self mill shenanigans. I thought we were done so many times. And we still might be. But how many board wipes can you play in a deck with four copies of Farewell? Not that many, right? Not that many. They've got a ghast. Ghast is all they've got. Think about it. What about the Wanderer? We could definitely have the Wanderer. We need to leave ourselves in a position where we can still blood on the snow afterwards and play some pests. And we really don't want to lose our creature lands that much. If we attack with everything here and they power up a hive or two and they go block, block. They have to do some... They have to wiggle to stay alive. All right. We hold back the lair. Not a kill shot, so we don't take it. What are they gonna do? They 
have to block with a hive. Maybe two to stay alive. And we have a mystery card in hand. Yep. Okay. Down to two. Treasure. Minus one, minus one. Take out the flyer. Okay. Two life. We just have to survive. I'm trying to think of a way they could deal two to us and hit us with the hive. So what I can do here is get back Shigeki and have two blockers. What could do two damage to us? There's a few cards in the format, but nothing I think that they play. We hold. If they had played a Wanderer there, at minus two to make a Samurai, we could still block it with Lair. And it wouldn't be game over. A Wanderer there would have been lit, actually. It would have been incredibly patient and kind of a Hail Mary. Okay. Six mana? It's not another farewell. Is this a taunt? Rope comes out? Jeez. Come on, man. What are you doing? Hook? Okay, but they don't have any creatures. Okay. We get a breach. Alright, that doesn't hurt me. Just gains them some life and they can survive another turn by chumping. Oh my gosh. Are we really still doing this? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. <laughs> you go to one? My god, hook. Is it over? Can it end? One to five. They draw. They GG. I don't disagree. Those frickin' hives, man. They had us on the brink of death so many times. <gasps> it's not good enough, though. It's a great top deck, but it's not good enough. If we had attacked badly, or underpumped our underpumped our lair, we would have lost. Oh my god. Maybe not lost. <sighs> but close. Yeah, the opponent with that good game, that, that is a taunt. That is a, uh, a trick. Don't fall for it. They wanted me to just, like, attack with the pest or something for a pretty lethal. Would have blown me out. Don't fall for it. Avalanche. Ah, I'm gonna be the avalanche. Just sounds like a cool thing to say. All right, turn one layer, turn two Shigeki, turn three activate Shigeki, turn four chariot, life is beautiful. We're gonna do the thing. Hopefully it's a deck that I can grind into dust. Ah, it's mono white. <laughs> Stupid mono white. All right, so we have two, uh, two ways we can roll. We can play the innkeeper into the chariot 
and we can play Shigeki. If we play Shigeki and they play Luminar Gas Pirate, which they obviously have, we're in big trouble. If we play the Innkeeper, we can trade it with Usher, which is pretty good too. So let's go Innkeeper. Having Chariot early is very good against them. Ta-da! Big surprise. How do they do it? Born with it, Holmes. Okay. Freaking born with it. That's okay. I got Chariot. I'm the master of my own dom domain or whatever. Could attack the opponent here. Let's just hold back and keep all of our blocking options open. They found Brutal Cathar. They target. A cat. We'll make a 4-4. Four four. They can put a counter on their Usher and attack with it. And no blocks, but now they don't have it to block the Chariot. Which is a big deal. Here's Shigeki. Here's the crew. And then we Deadly Dispute into Blood on the Snow. And if they don't drop exactly Elite Spellbinder here to mess with that, it's very strong. Yep. Take that big hit. See what they do. The Seed of the Empire facing a Chariot. They must have a pretty good turn. And no other lands in hand. That is alarming. There's a Thalia. Let's give up Shigeki. Ah, uh, maybe not. Let's give up the 2-2. Okay, soul transfer. Now we're gonna need another land because of Thalia. Oh, they didn't pump squad. That's very strange to me. They could have, but they chose Thalia instead. I guess they care about blood on the snow. And they pump the Thalia, and they scoop. Classic Mono White. I shouldn't be surprised. We'll keep that. If the opponent kills this Ghast, then the next turn we could have a Chariot, and it would be great. I guess I should play this... No, let's leave ourselves open to the Deadly Dispute draw. Okay, do we finally get enchanted here? Probably. Enchantment's deck is a monster. Companion! Okay. Wow. I mean, we'll give ourselves the chance for a chariot here. Let them make a mistake. I think it was worth the risk. You never know what people will do. Ladder is a weird place. But events are weirder. Okay, they've announced some nuptials. Good for them. So happy for you. Wow. I guess I'll keep being aggressive. Gotta kill him somehow. What are we gonna need? We need uh, Eye Twitch, actually. We need to go get Containment Breaches. And then we need to start Shizeki Shigeki-ing them back. Yeah, I'm, I'm borderline prepared for this nonsense, but now I'm starting to wonder if that's even true. Okay. Power up our chariot. Would you like to attack into it to draw a card? No. Hopefully they... Well, I guess they can't kill this chariot, can they? Going wide. There will be cats. There will be cats. Our time. Okay, so they're controlly enchantments and they're missing land. So these are all like hollowed haunting and borrowed time and that kind of card. That is not a good thing for us, really. So let's dial up the pressure. You will wade through a river of cats. <laughs> we are all cat cars. Mono cat cars today. 
They found that land, but if they play Hollowed Haunting here, they're way too far behind. Maybe it's still the play, but it is sc a scary cast, and they're gonna do it. All right, if we draw untapped land, we can recover and attack with this chariot. We draw soul transfer. It's not, that's not good. Oh man, okay. Okay. This is scary. We hit him hard, we drop him to five, we recover the chariot so we can keep the pressure on, but we're mana short of casting it, we say go, and they untap with hollowed frickin' haunting. If they had cheap enchantments though, they probably would have played them by now. Oh, that helps. I think they top decked that. Oh man, here we go. Here we go now. Okay, that doesn't... that adds a creature, but not two. And they don't get to use it this turn, and we can soul transfer the naturalist. We can still draw land here. Nope, we don't do it. Okay, they've got four. They block four. They take two. Not good enough. Oh, man. oh no. They're gonna turn the corner on this game. I can feel it. You can feel it too, can't you? We can get a creature back. If we put this in play, but we have no dead creatures, so... Gotta do exile. Man. So those sit down. They can still block very well, though. This is very sad. Alright, if the Shambling Ghasts hit, or if they block them, what, what, good, what good news happens? They might be afraid to, you know? They block here, they lose one, they go to three. I think it's like this. And the reason is I don't want them to go block, block cat, block cat, and not block the Shambling Ghast. I'm only risking one cat. If they don't block the Ghast, I can't make the Cascade of Spirits fall down. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Alright, two things we could do. We could kill all the spirits, or we could kill off the Weaver of Harmony. The Weaver of Harmony copying an effect is very scary, but it can only take out two things. We could also make a treasure and play another cat car. Alright. Oh, man. This is so tough. But if they have, like, four creatures next turn, I don't know if I can beat that. So... Yeah, I should have killed this. This has been such a weird draw, too. Just cat cars all the way in a matchup where that is not good enough, and then one land short of probably going wide enough to win. So bad. It's all it's all falling apart. Oh, let's see if they let's see if they get debated though. The Weaver of Harmony, they might want to activate it here. They might get tempted. Nope. Okay. Oh, is that just lethal? Ten? How much is that? Ten plus how much? Plus three? Eighteen? Bad game. Ugh. Bad game. God, I was so close. That was such a weird game, too. In order to grind people out, I need to get to a position to grind people out. I need to, like, draw sweepers and stuff. Okay. Okay, okay. This, this looks like a hand designed to do these things. And of course we face Mono Red on the draw. That's really bad, but our hand is playable for sure. Okay, 
So they're an artifact version of Mono Red. That's pretty scary because the patchwork whatever it is can go over the top. Automaton. But they don't have it yet. And when they don't have it early, we're in a much better position. Plus we've got Boseju, which can be a cheap way to deal with it. So what do we play? Shigeki. Innkeeper into Eye Twitch. I think we try to ramp up big enough so that this hook hits. And it hits the whole board. So let's play the Innkeeper and pass. They also might use a burn spell on it. If we take five, it's not the end of the world. Potentially next turn we could hook the whole board. Scary. It's a Royal Eruption and a Mountain. We would love for them to spend next turn on Royal Eruption if we can hook their whole board. They got the Ronin. Okay. Well, if we're going to hook anyway, we should block. It will get this Exile, but we have another. We'll take two from the Ronin. That's... Yeah. But we play this, and then we start to recover. The world will start healing. They'll probably eruption our face and... You know, Ronin. Ronin will slap us, and we'll go to 11, then we'll untap, play an Innkeeper, play an Eye Twitch. See what happens. Ooh, okay. They want to keep hitting land. What is this? Smelter. At the beginning of combat, one, sacrifice, artifact, make a 3-1. Okay, I see what, I see what they're up to. Innkeeper. Eye Twitch. Shigeki. I think it's worth having on the field. It's a long time before we can value up Shigeki here. And the life might be relevant. The Smelty. The Ronin. Combat, sack the blood token, make a 3-1. Dude, they crazy. Kill him, if we can. Make things die. Do you have a one mana play? Nope. Cool. Just make them drag themselves through the muck. Pesty besties. Those three ones versus my pests, I am cool with. All right, mono red, artifact killer. How good is your hand? What does it do? Epicure, sure. Power the Den. Okay, let's let that become a creature, but before it attacks and makes a 1-1, one, one, we have a trick up our sleeve. Actually, I think we let them have the 1-1 one, one and block it. I've got a plan. It's This is fine. This is fine. The Smelter wants to rumble. I guess if we want to kill the smelter, this is a chance to do it. Let's do it. Because what I'm going to do here, this is a legendary, so I can go with Deadly Dispute, throw a pest in the bin, make a treasure, which I can use with Boseju Endures to channel it and blow up the den because it's a land. And I wanted it to be a creature so that the Meat Hook Massacre would trigger, and I gain a life. So evil. All in the timing. Shigeki lives. Life, life, life. 
the opponent did have a play with fire, I think they would have tapped differently, but here's an opportunity, but they're gonna scoop it up instead. Mono Red defeated. Mom Spaghetti, you only get one shot. Do or die. For all of the thousand gold marbles. We're fighting half and half. I don't want half and half, I want the whole thing. Hand is okay. It's okay. And we're on the draw again. Ugh. Okay. Make it work. We won on a mold of five on the play before. Maybe we can pull this off. Alright. Are you the type of opponent to just attack like a maniac? Layer. Go. Probably. Probably aggressive. We have a meat hook, so we're going to need a lot of mana. We do have a soul transfer for a troll, if that's what they play. Nope. It's frickin' enchantments. Being on the draw, we're gonna be too slow, aren't we? Probably. But we'll find out. Next turn. I'm gonna hold on to this treasure. Like, if they play, like, three things here, what... What were we supposed to do? Just die. Okay. Could have gone worse. Now we really need our lessons, because that's where we keep the enchantment hate, is in the sideboard. And we haven't had eye twitch against these decks yet. I think I hold this until they move in a little bit. So do we play a chariot here? I don't think so. I think I'm going to need very large meat hooks. So I think I'm supposed to play this shambling ghast and say go and deadly dispute it. Like, just building a nice Chariot Renin 7 board against them will do no good. We need a lot of mana. We need to meat hook and blood on the snow. And then we also need to find Eye Twitch, so getting deeper into our deck with Deadly Dispute is important. We need something that can keep blowing up enchantments, and then we need to recur it over and over. So we're going to make treasure here and not kill these companions because we have a meat hook. Their hand is clunky. There's a blood on the snow. We just gotta find eye twitch. So. We have the blood on the snow. I think they're gonna play Hollowed Haunting next turn. Am I supposed to play Asika's Chariot? Am I supposed to play Ren in Seven? And just plus? Having a something out here that survives a hook, though, would be really good. All right, we're going to do it like this. Just lead them onto the board. If they take, if they spend their turn on like hollowed haunting and something else, maybe we can hook away all the small things. <laughs> and at some point we got to get Ren down too, but I need to defend it. Okay, double naturalist. I mean, their hand isn't doing much. Oh, they're doing this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. If they're playing all the, like, borrowed times and stuff, that's great. Like, that, that is playing the game we want to play. Slow and steady. But I twitch, you've got to come play, dude. There we go. There's something big to hit with soul transfer. We kind of want it to hit Ren first, though, to be honest, because then we can get Ren back, because we have an enchantment in the meat hook. Wait a minute. This is power and toughness equal to the enchantments you control. You kind of only have one. Like, this is the only one. So if we hook here, they all die. That's awesome. That felt bad. <laughs> that felt real bad. <laughs> I'm 
you got? So they have Tamiyo's safekeeping, maybe? Veil? Veil's good. A little bit of a blowout. They're not indestructible, though. I guess I want them to play out their stuff, though. I want them to kill the Wren. Ah, let's see if they can deal with this. We chill. Okay, another borrowed time. Keep on coming. Just keep playing bad one for one. I mean, that's gonna hurt, but it'll be okay. I, I should get this. I can get back so many things, but I can't get back Ren and Chariot. But I can get back Soul Transfer. And we start the loop. The loop. Now, don't you have another Snakeskin Veil? That will make me sad. Wow, imagine having everything. So good. All right, well, I'm glad we got this, because now we can loop it back, but this Reign of Truth is going to kill me, so we have to blot on the snow here. We can't get back Ren, because we spent too much mana. But it is what it is. Snakeskin Veil, get out. All right, no artifact, but we have a deadly dispute, so we can probably make that... We can probably fix that before too long. Yeah, you had to target my thing. If you wanted to target your land, you had to activate that in response. You had to set a stop. Don't know if that's even the right play, though. I'm at 18. I could take the hit. Basically time walk themselves. Not very good. I mean, it's got to learn how your cards work. Oh, now they have stops on. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, this can get back a Ren. Or a Shigeki, for that matter. I think we just say go. <laughs> Wrong stops. <laughs> Magic is hard. It can be a tilt sometimes. Yeah, we've got we've got fun stuff to get back. Alright, they reviewed the footage in the graveyard. I'll just wait till you meet Eye Twitch. They're in there somewhere. Ooh! They're going big again. They are they are YOLOing very hard. Alright, end step. Do we ramp? Or do we get something else back? I think we get something else back. Soul transfer, and I think we'll take a shambling gas here, to be honest. And reestablish this loop. So we play you. And you. And we see if they drew another snakeskin veil. They did, good for them, you know? 
They're just too hard to beat. Okay, well, we have the blood on the snow. <laughs> I still think we go for this. And we still have two mana up, right? Yeah, so we can get our Shigeki back. So we don't need to get this Shigeki. We can get something else. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Let's just take another one. The opponent has this Katilda in the graveyard they can bring out to basically double up and hit extra hard. If we had an eye twitch, I'd get that back for sure, but... As I've mentioned a few times in this game, we do not have an eye twitch yet. <laughs> Okay, could run out a Chariot, try to get on the board. But I think we just sit back and use this. Because I think we're locking in. We're we're becoming a Boa Constrictor. We have the Soul Transfer loop. So we want to just keep doing the Soul Transfer thing. As much as we can. Now they've got their stops ready. Now they're going to power up like their lair and give it a bonus and attack with it. And we'll block with Shigeki. Mill, return Shigeki to hand. I, I feel like they set their stops now and they're like, do I really want to do it? Hey, if you're at home and you want to know how this works, you can set the stop for like after you draw, if you put the stop right here on like your own first main, because then you can draw and make this decision, which might help because if you draw something you really want to cast, like say they drew a hollowed haunting, they can't do it now, right? I think they were just so salty about giving the bonus to my Shigeki. And see, now they're now they're doing this. <laughs> they were so salty about pumping my Shigeki that they they just got away from it. <laughs> they're not playing their land. They're gonna discard it and get something back. Okay. Alright. Still zero eye twitches in the graveyard. There's a Balagid recovery. Well, we can buy back soul. We can buy back the soul transfer a little cheaper. What are they going to get back? Naturalist, probably. So I think that we're setting up for another board wipe soon. Maybe I should just be playing chariot. Have some blockers to make things a little awkward. We're going to play this as a land at last, and we're going to Shigeki back three cards. Maybe two, if we want to keep the treasure. It might still be a thing. Okay, they're going to grind. They're going to draw instead of getting the naturalist. Because they're starting to realize everything's just going to die. Or they're trying to draw more snakeskin veils. They've already played two, I thought. Yep, two. This is the place where the rune deck is significantly better than the enchantment deck. With just green-white. Because you have access to haste. The haste rune can make a huge difference. If you can, you know, get your thing to fly, give it haste, and go smash. Interesting. Why are they leaving up mana? Why are they leaving up mana and not activating ranger class? What instant do they have? We're gonna find out. Soul transfer. Let's get deadly dispute as well. Okay, so they want to channel the land and kill the chariot, probably. There's Eye Twitch. Yes, please. All right, let's get you into circulation. You needed to be a you need to be a big part of this game. You're a rock star. We have your trailer all ready for you. Opponents like what? How do what? I wonder, what could you be thinking about? What do you have? Some instant I'm not thinking of. Reach number one. <laughs> Soon we will be getting back all the containment breaches.
but we have to decide what to breach. I think it's just the portrait, but we want to be exiling things too. Um, the ranger class, this is going to be a 3-4, but we can kill it next turn. We got to worry about this getting attached to something, right? So what if we just blood on the snow this board, since they're expecting something different? Seems good. But, oh, okay. That's what they were sitting on. All right. Um, since this is going to die anyway, let's animate it so that they lose one life to the Meat Hook Massacre. Doesn't cost us anything because these are about to die anyway. It's untapped, right? That's nice. Get back. We don't have a way to sacrifice this. If they exile it, we're in big trouble. So let's not. Let's not. If we get a Shigeki on the field, does that do anything? Not really. Alright. Ren, big tree folk. They prepare for war. This seems good. Opponent has nothing to put their Katilda on, so we're very safe. And now we have the board. Okay, Weaver of Harmony. Gotta respect that they foiled it out. It was a daily deal recently, but still sweet. All right, Mortality Spear, sweet. Put some stuff in the yard. Let's get rid of this Weaver so that they can't pull any shenanigans on us. Let's get back. Or Shigeki? Nah, Shigeki can get this back. We're fine. Let's get uh, Prosperous Innkeeper. We can gain a life if we play or make a creature and then Mortality Spear. That should be very good. strong just kill it all a little enchantment revenge going on in this game for sure uh-huh Not enough to Katilda. Circle. Okay. Level. I mean, you want to do the nonsense? I'll I'll show you nonsense. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I guess they do want me to kill him. We'll finish up. Make it easy. Could have just blown up all their enchantments for fun, though. Woo! Oh, yeah. We can take on enchantments. We just... We need the mana to keep coming. It's nice when iTwitch gets involved. The loop with soul transfer is hot. Like, absolutely wild. As long as there are, are creatures or opposing Planeswalkers to exile. The soul transfer loop is absolutely lovely with Shigeki. And, man, I feel like we gave that 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 run the business. I That was a good, that was an exciting run. 
a little bit of mono white salt here and there, a little bit of enchantment, ah oh, man, here and there, but good stuff. And no is it players, so a beautiful day in the arena. You should try the deck. It should. There are a few things that get me more excited about the amount of value you can grab and kind of the inevitability that Shigeki does, so you should definitely check out Shigeki Loops if you have the wild cards and you lo this looks fun to you, do it. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You're cool. Thank you.